Hey guys, John and Jack back with some self defence from the Get Aside series. We're working on the section where we've got the two Chudan UKs or Uchi UKs coming forward like that. So, um, I thought about doing it off two different ways of, uh, of, of the attack coming in. So, we're going to take it first of all from the hook coming in and we'll hang it up and we slip. Yeah, okay? So watch again, it comes in, and it's sort of blocking it, and then you're coming underneath to so there's a little bit of foot movement that goes in there. Alright, okay? So we're talking about the standard playground, yeah, or Saturday night special swinging haymaker coming in. And if someone's doing it properly, if there's a bit of venom in it, yeah, it makes it even easier for you to slip it. So if he does it nice and fast, yeah, nice and strong, yeah, you can slip it really quickly in. And the harder they throw it, the more momentum, more weight is in it, the better position that I'm in. I want to be just behind him, just at an angle here. And from there, you've got a lot of options which you can take um, to sort them out, all right? So, slowly again, we've got our first inside block there. All right, remember, it doesn't, you know, you're not going to stand there and go, oh, it's, got to, it's got to be applicable, it's got to be practical, yeah? So one, slip, and the second inside block, you're going to be nice and close, yeah? Very important that you get this part of your arm nice and close to their neck. And again, you see students practicing bunkai and they're kind of, they're kind of weeded out by the closeness. You've got to be nice and tight so you close up these gaps. So yeah, this corner right against his neck, yeah? And then it's going to come underneath. You see people opening their hands, doing kind of weird stuff. Just do an inside block. Do what the cat tells you to do, yeah? You turn from the elbow, the bicep muscle, one of its primary functions is to turn the lower part of the arm. And as you turn, you get a tap. And so Jack's going to feel a bit of pain in his neck and underneath his jaw. All right, okay? This is like a head crank. And then you can make it more effective in the kata. Where's this hand go? Yeah, it's not down here, is it? It's not there. It's in the hikate, which gives me an arm bar there as well. And We've got that crank there. If you want to be really mean, sorry, all right, okay. Um, again, if your hand's in the hickety, if it's doing a punch, it's doing a block, wherever it is, it's, doing, it's a sacred fist, isn't it, okay? And we can grab these nice fleshy parts and we can close each finger and we've got that and we can dictate what we want to do with this person. Okay, all right, so let's go for it again. So we've got two blocks. Yeah, bang straight away into there like that. We've got, we've got this fleshy part, we've got the arm bar, we've got them here, they're going to behave. Alright, just from two inside blocks. Um, then we've got the second one that I've got. We're going to take it from, from the grapple. This nasty position which comes after, you know, someone's thrown a punch and we're here in this position here. This arm is going to go underneath this one. I'm going to get an arm bar there. Alright, okay, I know what you're thinking, he can throw punches, you know, I can protect himself, but the second inside block, snakes around the head, like this, and we get a killer team. We've done this before, one of our videos, and then you just do the inside block, and you get a tap. Alright, so watch again, so we, you know, it's all gone past that, we're going to get here, moving around, this arm, snakes, Gets the arm bar, this one bang like an elbow or whatever you need to do there. Snake it round, and we've got the inside there. A little bit sped up, so we're grabbing here, move it round, so it's one, two, like that, and you've got them. Alright, so be very careful with that one with the neck. Um, have a practice, see you next time. <laughs>